a session with Bacardi Barbies. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, me and Kayla are going to be doing a girl talk. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Hey, y'all. My name is Kaylin. They know. Hey, y'all. My name is Kaylin Joy. Okay, so we post on our story. We're going to ask us questions. And yeah, we got to do a girl talk for y'all because we got y'all. Period. Like. We finna answer y'all questions. Now, this video, it was supposed to be, like, topics. Like, it was supposed to be, like, advice. And some of the questions was, like, we don't really know how to answer because it was kind of, like... It, it was really more, like, like... The question was, like, a cute, like, like it was Yeah, it was more like a Q&A. Like like it wasn't, like, a girl talk. Like, advice on this and that. Like, it was more like a Q&A. Like, y'all was asking about our personal lives. Yeah. So, we just this, tried to turn them into, like, girl talk questions. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So, for the first talk, we have hygiene... And so, right now I was asking about like skin routine, how to keep our face clean, stuff like that. But y'all, yeah, I don't use nothing on my face. I, swear. I don't, for real, for real. All I use is my Dove soap. So, like, I got some cleanser. What's that cleanser called? It's like every, yeah. But I don't use say, it for real. We get every, what would you say? Huh? It was like it's like every and I can see the face. Yeah. I was gonna say it's like a box. Eh? <laughs> I was gonna say it's like a box. So it's dead right there, but it's like yeah. I use that on my face sometimes, but when my face start to break out, then that's when I use it. I don't think um, smelling good all day. Like I feel like that goes into how you take care of yourself that night and that morning. Mm -hmm. Like if you if you only take a shower at certain times. Then you're not gonna be able to keep up your health and smell good all day, every day. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you have to take care of yourself in order to be able to smell good. It's not about products. It's not about what you use. It's really about how you take care of yourself when you're like showering, all that stuff. Like, and yeah. being consistent. With yes, being consistent. Um, next one is what to do when you first start your cycle. I don't even remember when I first started my cycle. Yeah, but if you know, like, if you know when you have a cycle, you're going to have to yeah, Like, it's, it's, from, it's like, natural. Like, yeah, you can't you really can control have. that. But you're not going to stink. Like, <laughs> you're not going to stink. Like, like, just walking just around. Just around. Stank. No, like, it's like when you, like, change your past, all that stuff like that. That's when you got to smell it. But you're not, like, if you take care of yourself, you're not just going to flat out just be stinking. Like, like you really should really just you shouldn't smell it coming out your clothes. Like right? you yeah. smell it coming out your clothes, it's gonna change. And not just change, like I would say carry like some wipes. Yeah, like a little bag. Yeah. I would say carry some of those and, and just like I don't know. Having you like a bag, like when you go to school, um, have a little something like you drive and have if you have like a little bag you keep it in your backpack, like, like just stuff to house. Yeah, stuff to like keep up with yourself when you're when it's that time of the week. Just make sure you wipe and you change. Don't let it just sit Yeah, there you change like consistency it. consistently, like don't just be sitting there bloody. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, like it's like for real. For real. Don't be that yeah. Like, maintaining your hair like now, I know y'all probably look at us and be like, y'all always have to have your hair done. Like, <laughs> that's just how we is, though. But you don't always have to have your hair done. Like, you really don't, like. <laughs> like, maintaining your hair, like, this is optional. Like, we don't have Very to do it. We just like, do it. But when it comes to, like, our natural hair, like, I don't do my hair. I go to a shop and I get my hair washed and blow that stuff like that. But what I can tell you is, don't let your hair just be dirty. Like, but, like. I mean, you know, to so wash your hair, oily. I know. It's really simple that you can do, and sometimes it's really genetics with how your hair comes out too. So you can't really like force your hair to be this type of hair. This type of hair. Yeah, like my mom's so, hair is like real long, so my hair is like exactly. real long. Like you can't really, she can't really like. You know what I'm saying? Like if she cut hair off, it's still gonna grow back. Yeah, it's long, long like stuff like that. Um. But like you really, you don't have to keep. But if you get your hair done, when you get your hair done, like it do help your hair grow as well. But don't feel like when y'all see everybody on social media, don't feel like you just have to keep getting your hair done because people on social media always have their hair done. Like it's two different lifestyles. It's two different like reasoning. Re yeah, like it's not really just about you know. 
Yeah, like, for example, I don't mind wearing my natural hair, but I just don't because right. it's a lot to deal with. And right. it's like sometimes you just don't want to. Like, yeah. You don't want to. So if you don't have to, then you, you're not going to do that. Uh, okay, the next topic is self-love. And the first part of self-love is having confidence. And I feel like with confidence, that goes into like having your hair done, getting your nails done. Like that can boost your confidence, but you have to love yourself within before it's wigs, nails, lashes. Like you have to love your natural self before you can even have self love. Like you can't automatically, you can't like yourself when you don't have this stuff. And then when you get it, be like, oh yeah, I love, I love myself. All this stuff like that. I do that sometimes when I wear my lashes, but it's like. It's not like I'm not comfortable with myself. Like, you have to be able to be comfortable with yourself before you just start adding on extra stuff to yourself. And it's also, like, I feel like it also helps you get older because, like, when I got to high school, that's when I gained, like, a lot of confidence. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, high school is when I get a lot of confidence. And you got to feel comfortable with yourself. You got to know. Yeah. You got to know, like, you. Yourself, like, you got to like, know yourself to have confidence. And don't compare yourself. Like that's, if you're that's comparing a big yourself, thing. Do not compare yourself. You're gonna mess yourself up. When you get to high school and you start comparing yourself to these people and that people, these people have totally different lives. Like you cannot compare yourself to nobody. You have to like love your life, love yourself. And that's really what you gotta do to have self confidence. Cause middle school going to high school is like two, two different, different things. things. And also like you could just like do um hey, what's that stuff called? Affirmations. Yeah, affirmation in the morning, like look up stuff like that, and tell yourself like you're pretty, you're this, you're that. Like make yourself feel good. You gotta make yourself feel good for anybody else to make yourself feel good. Like, yes, like my mom, like when I was in kindergarten, every day before I left out the car, she would make me say that I'm pretty. She would make me say that I'm smart. Like that was something we did every day before I got out the car, and I still remember that. And I see a lot of people like you sticky you notes know, and they put them on their yeah. mirrors, like when they get ready and stuff. And I feel like that's a good way to remind yourself, like every day, or put it on your lock screen, like some bitch you look at every day. So the next one is insecurities, like. Everybody has insecurities, like that's just not serious. But I feel it's like true. it's a own, it could be like an on and off type of thing mm -hmm. because, like, it's like I feel like insecurities is natural because you're not when you first like start doing stuff, you're not gonna just automatically just and like you just dead, like you just dead, like you just <laughs> you know, like, you just like, 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 like you just love everything, but you should. You should be able to like love everything, but it's very na it's natural for people to have insecurities about stuff. But I feel like you shouldn't tell a lot of people your insecurities because sometimes people will hold it on you. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. don't don't just go around telling people insecurities. And to get over your insecurities, you have to love yourself. That's really what it is. Like loving yourself is the big key to having confidence. Because if you don't love yourself, you're not gonna have confidence. You're gonna have all these insecurities. You're not gonna like anything that you do. Like. It's gonna make it worse for you, and you not gonna have a good mental health either. And it's also about your mentality, like, right? If you wake up every morning crying about, it's nothing wrong with like crying about the same stuff over and over but and you over. You gotta let that go. Sometimes. Exactly. Like, if you like keep holding on to stuff that you know is hurting you and know that's making you feel some type of way, you're not trying to like convince yourself and get away from and it. let it go. Right. Then of course you're gonna like. You know, but like it's time from the time you gotta just wake up one day and just be like, like yeah. I look good. Like friends, like if your friends is so negative around you and like they always bring you down and say something bad about you, you need to let them people go. Like, right. You need to distance yourself or let them go or like tell them how you feel and see how that go. But it's also that because if I'm walking around and I, in my head I'm saying like I don't like this one, I don't like that. And then somebody you think you so buddy buddy with come around talking about oh you just did you that. It's gonna make you feel worse. Like that's gonna make you feel worse. So I feel like it's also around. It's about who you hang around because if you're if people are negative about you, you're gonna be negative about yourself. Like, but then it's also gonna make you feel like, well, if they saying these things, and right. I know everybody else is saying this stuff, exactly. and that might not even be the case. That just might be somebody who really just secretly hated, don't right. like you and just yeah. you know, stuff like that. So I feel like don't. That's another reason why you shouldn't let other people get in your head about this. Exactly. Mental have like that goes with everything we just said, like having confidence, self love. If all that is down, if all that is zero, then your mental health gonna be a zero. And also, you gotta stop being, don't be so negative about everything because that brings your material down too. 
So I feel like working on your mental health, you like just have to give your aff give affirmations. Try to do stuff that you love, like sports or any hobby. Like do stuff that you love because it really will boost your mental health and boost your confidence a little bit. And then, like, another thing about mental health is you cannot tell, another person cannot tell you how you should feel. Here, like, like, if you feel a certain way, then you feel you a certain, feel certain way. way. Don't and let other can. people tell you that you should feel a certain way about this, that, and third. And another thing with mental health is you can't rest it. Like, you can't, like, rest yourself out of, like, this say you depressed or something. This is going to come over time. Like, don't try to rest it because we were trying to rest out of it. It's more than likely going to come back because you didn't take the time to actually heal from what she was going through and stuff like that. So, it's all a process, not the real. So, don't try to rest nothing. Just let it, like, I don't know. And I feel like you should always, if you don't have anybody to talk to, you always have your phone, your notes. You always have a journal. Write your feelings out. You can always out. talk to yourself. Let, 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 like, you let it go. Literally. And my big thing, like, anytime I'm feeling down about something, I would listen to music. Like, for me, it's different for everybody but for me i just listen to music and that really helped me like anytime i i'm feeling the same way about something i listen to music and that's just what helped me like i used to write stuff down but like as i got older i don't really write stuff down anymore i just listen to music or i make videos on, on my phone and i just talk just yes talk to myself. like just talking like yeah talk it talk to god yeah talk to god talk to your phone like it's really gonna when you once you get it out you gonna be, you gonna feel better. Like you need to get it out. Don't, don't hold stuff in forever. Like I feel like be spoke. Like speak, speak about your feelings. Speak about everything and say what you gotta say. Like if you hold stuff in, it's just gonna make everything worse for you. Like you're not gonna feel good. And like when we say let it out, we're not saying you gotta tell somebody because like when I go through stuff, I don't tell nobody. Like I'm not just gonna be like, you know, like. I don't know, like, and I'm then not it's say, like I don't like people to feel bad for me. Yes, and then it's like, sometimes other people have stuff going on, and if you just come around telling them your problem, yeah. it's like, dang, like, they probably be like, dang, I got this going on, that going on, and then... Having it, to help Right, like, so, so it's really like, you gotta think for yourself, like, do this stuff on your own, like, don't depend on nobody for that, like, you gotta get yourself right on your own for real, for Because if it's not gonna be nobody else, it's gonna be you, you like, like, literally. It's a high school... And a lot of y'all questions, like, based off this, like, with friends, rumors, boys. So, I feel like all of this, we feel like all of this is tiny. Okay, so, fake friends. It's only one way to deal with them. Cut them off. And if you feel like it's going to be hard to cut them off, distance yourself. Distance yourself. Like, and <clears throat> fake friends come with negative energy that you don't want to be right. It come with unnecessary problems. It comes with drama. So, just distance yourself. Even if, like, you're not just ready just to be like, I'm just done with you. If you're not ready just to say that, <laughs> if you're not ready just to say that, then just this is yourself. And they should get the mid. They should fall back too. Like, and if they... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. With fake friends, like, like she said, this is yourself. Like, you don't want to... With somebody that was your friend, that you thought was your friend... You don't want to cause a drama or a situation with that because of certain things. So really what I feel like is this is yourself. And like I personally, I probably would just block. Like, if you really just that done, just block and be done. Like you don't have time for that negative energy. We get too old. People know what they're doing. It's no time for fake friends. And don't be internet about it. Like, yeah, if you like, with your friends, it's not reason you should post just, on the internet. Like, just be like, it is what it is. Like, everybody don't need to know. Just be like, okay, like, we just not cool. You don't see me with that person, you see we not cool. And don't that's come just it. Don't you ask. You know what's going on. You know what happened. <laughs> it's time to. Um, next one is negative energy. Negative energy in general, it could be friends, family, relationship. Like, negative energy comes with life, it comes with anybody. You can see some strange, right? Strange in Walmart, you feel the negativity. Like, somebody like just bump you, you look, y'all not saying, like, Am I bad or something? You feel that's negative energy right there, you feel it. So, um, so, I feel like with negative energy, how to deal with it. It's best, like we said, with the fake friends, if this is yourself. But it's also, like, don't take too much 
don't worry about it. Like, if somebody's so negative, please get away from them because that's gonna make you a negative person. Yeah, and you it's not real yeah, about you. You do not want to come off as that to people at all because it's not good. Like, it's it's nasty. No, I don't understand when people like walk around with attitudes and stuff like that, and then just be they mean for like no reason. They think like it's cute. Like, it's you know, like for some reason, people be like they see me and Kaylin be looking mean. But, oh God, we just but be it's chilling not for that. Real. It's I swear it's not that. Like, if you call our name, we gonna start smiling. Like, like hey. Like, I don't even, we don't even be realizing, like, I know I be walking around, but it's like, do you want me to walk around? Like, I'm, I'm at school, tired, tired all day. That you don't think I'm going to be walking around that tomorrow? Car, hungry. No, no. But it's not, but some people are just straight off mean. Like, you said something, what are you talking to me for? Like, stuff like that. Like, you just straight off mean. Like, stuff like that. Don't be like It's that, like y'all. unnecessary. It's unnecessary. It's not. You don't look good. You look ugly doing all that extra stuff. <laughs> yeah, she like you, that's just that you look nasty. Like, <laughs> you look like, but like that's for real. For real. Like, like you really need really to start start thinking about how people looking at you. Like they probably like, dang, like what she got going on, stuff like that. Like I feel like it also depends on your parents. Yeah, yeah. Because my first like relationship was like thirteen. But I wouldn't say like first blush like that, but like it's really like middle school, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I feel like if you talk to your parents about it, because my parents knew about their relationship, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, don't just be trying to be so sneaky. Like, if you know you're supposed to have no breakfast, just don't do it. And sometimes you don't need to rush, anyways, because yeah, like, boyfriends no. come with a lot. Like, it's not just no, hey, this is my boyfriend stuff. Like, it comes with a lot and it can affect you as well, especially at a young age. So I feel like waiting until like 15, 16, like she said, is better, is a better option. When you like dating kind of 13. Mature. Yeah, like you mature, you know, you know, like what's going on, you know how to handle stuff now. You don't want to get in a relationship and you just handle everything wrong. Like, and no. then it's also like you don't even have to be in a relationship. I feel like let it come to you. Don't go mm. looking for no boy. Yeah, because you don't need no, no man. Exactly. Like we still young. You don't need. Like you don't need any of that. You can want period. that, but you don't, don't need. Any. Don't and get me and want me mixed, mixed up. up. Period. Because a man is never a need. Period. You need to be able to provide anything for a man yourself. can provide for you. You need to better provide for yourself. Like, if this man can get you money, you need to better get money for yourself. Like, a man, you do not need to depend on no boy, no man, anything. Like, even when you get older, like, do not depend Especially on that. Especially when you get older, because you'll get this for like, like, for real. You got to be able to do anything on your own. Like, it's not everybody relationship. It's always a want. A relationship is always a want. Because that's another thing. Like, when people be, like, on lives, like, on our lives, or, like, when I go live on my spam, stuff like that, some people be like, you just need a relationship, like stuff like that. You don't, you should never need a relationship. Yeah, I feel like a lot of girls be boy crazy. I like, hate that. Like, I don't that's know. Weird. I just don't like that. Like, it's like, you got a better, you got a whole life ahead of you, and you always worried about boy. Like, no, no like, you don't need that. You don't need that. Like, 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 you Heartbreak. Um, heartbreak and I feel like this goes with that as well like if a boy that you really like and you really just like mess with them and they like do something to hurt you from my experience I would not do this no more but I felt like going back until you can't no more like that help that help yeah, me that, like, that really that like, really made me like disgusted like you feel like no like I really don't mess with you for real because you know what I'm saying? Like, it will make you, like, really done. If somebody keep doing it. another thing is boys is not hard to figure out. With a girl, it can be a little bit more tricky because, you know, girls, you know, have girls. more more emotions. Yeah. I feel like, like, but it's not hard to figure out a boy out. And it's all about your, y'all, your mentality will take you a long way. I swear to God. Like, the mentality I have, like, if a boy cheat on you, like I said, with my experience, too, you gonna keep, especially with like when you're like fresh, like like your first, first time, real relationship, like yeah. you gonna keep going back, cause you gonna think, oh yeah, he said he's sorry, he said he gonna change, so I know he gonna, he's not. Yeah, I'm he's telling not. you, he's not. He's not. Gonna-
And I'd rather, I'd rather y'all not even go through all that trouble because you're not going to end up with that boy. Be for real. Change, because he wouldn't have did it in the first place. Like, nobody's yeah. gonna, if he really wanted to be with you, y'all, he would not put you in a position to lose you at all. So, your mentality is, I'm just gonna be real. Like, I just can't. Because I really do not want to talk about this. So I'm Don't just be, be dumb. Real. Like, this has to be our mentality. If he cheat on you, you gotta look at it like this. Because I feel like cheat is not a strong enough word. Like, but it's a strong, make you it's stop. a strong, yeah, yeah like, like, it's like, you be like, how did you cheat? So like that. Yeah, like, like you yeah. try to go into it. Like, no, you gotta look at cheating as he's talking to another girl. He's seeing another girl that he like. He likes her. How's he gonna like two girls at one time? He can't do that. You, he don't care about you. He, yeah, when you cheat on somebody, you do that. He don't care about you at all. And this the thing: if you got a friend that don't care about you, you're gonna cut the friend off. Right. You got a boy that don't care about you. Why is he Why still you trying to make it right with him? No, you you not you not making it right with the friend. So don't make it right with the boy. Exactly. Like, yeah. This like, so dumps me. It's too fair. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, they're not gonna start doing. It doesn't even have to be cheating. Like it just if he lay stuff. his hands on you. First of all, if a boy ever lay lay their hands on you, lay them flat out. I don't <laughs> care how much you got to fight. Do not like, let nobody beat, beat on, on you. you. Like, like no, you, like no, you better. Do whatever you gotta do to get them off you, I know. And that's the same thing with cheating. He said he's not gonna hit you again, but me personally, I've never had nobody hit on me. Like, me never. never. Like, never. And if I they did, know what's up with me, I Period. They, they know, know we don't, don't play. Like, don't, don't play. Don't play. Me like that. Don't play with it, for real. But, like, we just never experienced that. So I really can't say much about it, but I feel like it's the same thing with <clears> cheating. <throat> like, if he say he's not gonna do it again, he really feel like that he wants to pay his hands on you. And a lot of people be like, they be so in love to where they they will look over a beating. You should not look over that. I feel like it's like, promise why are you hitting on me? Why are you hurting me? You yeah, like, and that's something with cheating. Why would you hurt somebody you're hurting me? That you feel that you care about. And it's like, it can be. Um, one thing I hate is a liar. Like, why you Yeah, I lying? hate liars. Like, <laughs> no, but like, for real, I hate liars. Like, like and the reason why I say, I said 15, 16 when you more mature for a relationship because if you I was lie. talking to this boy when I was like 14, 15, and basically, y'all, he did me really bad. So, ever since then, the young age, I don't trust nobody. I don't care what you say to me, like, because I know you could still be lying. Right. So I don't go for none of that, and I wish I didn't have to experience that because, because now really my changed. guard is always up. Like my mindset is so key, deep. Though, I'm glad we experienced that because it really it was it changed. Like yeah, it made like, you I can different. See, any relationship, now. like any relationship, you it make you like look at a different life. Now if a dude cheat on me, I'm flat out done. Yeah, it's like it's I no going that. back. It's no it's no second chance to third for. You just, I'm just, I'll just be flat out done. It's like stuff like that. So I feel like the experience is not a good feeling at all because you probably you gonna have to heal. Like you gonna have to heal. It's take a long time. Don't rush into no no less. You have to heal. You gonna be hurt. You gonna be hurt because you feel like you feel like they loved you, especially if you love them. You gonna be hurt, but I feel like the experience it do help you it in the future. Stronger. In the future, it helps you like with different relationships. Like you'll look at a lot of stuff different. And then I know what to look for. Like, let's say you and the boy is doing like really, really good. And then I know where he to get distance and stuff doing, doing like. Now you already know. Like, you yeah. already know. Like, it could be he's actually going through something. But at the same time, even if somebody's going through something, there's a way to handle yeah. it. You have to listen to your partner as well. Like, don't just let out just be telling them everything they're going wrong. If you're doing something wrong, if they tell you something, don't overlook it. You have to listen to them too. Like,. Yeah, it's all about listening because somebody could tell you something and it go in one ear and out the other. So you really do have to listen. And it also come with like experience. Like, I could understand, like, if my partner had trust issues and like from time to time they feel like I was doing something, I wouldn't necessarily get mad, but I wouldn't get mad because I know what it feel like. But it's just, I would be kind of be mad because it's like, you. Like, you I feel like you don't me. trust you don't me. Trust I feel me. like if you feel like that you can't trust me, then I feel like I can't trust you. And now we shouldn't be in a relationship. Exactly. That's not healthy. A relationship comes with trust. And even though if you go through something with a different person, do not hold that against your next person. Like, don't just be like, 
he just because somebody else did you wrong. Don't be feeling like That's he true. doing you wrong. Like you know what I'm saying? Don't be like, oh well, my last man cheated on me, so you cheated on me too. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like don't be like that. Cause all people are different. And some I are not. Like that, some too. are not. But you know. And I feel like don't when you, yeah. When you get in a relationship, you out of soon as you agree to be in a relationship, you automatically take the risk of being cheated on. Literally, like it's you a, automatically it be take like the a 50, risk. 50 out of 50. It really can. So I feel like don't if they have never gave you a reason to not trust yeah, them, don't assume. then don't just assume do stuff like that. But as soon as they give you a reason, then that's when you just leave. Cause I swear it's gonna be easier to just leave it instead of like, cause if you keep taking it back, keep taking it back, you get you going in deeper every time. And you hurt yourself every time. Right. Like, so and at the end, end, it's gonna be a, a big heartbreak. Like if you keep going back, you like, dang, like, yeah, just be done the first time. Like the first time. And then when you leave the first time, they gonna be like, dang. They not, be like, she not like, playing that. And they really gonna be one of you that. They gonna hurt. They gonna be it's hurt. It's just gonna hurt them. And I feel like that's the best thing that you can get out of like somebody hurting you is them regretting. That's the that's the best, the best thing. thing like, don't go out. Somebody should you don't go talk to don't talk to their homeboys. Yeah, don't, don't talk to a whole bunch yeah. of boys. They's gonna want you back. They're not gonna be able to have you back. And that's the literally the best revenge that you can get. And I feel like also like if if you getting over heartbreak and you can't and you can't get over that break. I feel like blocking. Like just block. Don't block. don't don't be watching them on social media. Like that's really gonna throw you off. Like you watch my social media, like but you they hurt you. That's gonna make you not better get over anybody. Like you can't be watched, you can't be worried about their next move, worried about who they be. You know what I'm saying? Like just be doing like it is what it is. And then another thing I feel like is exes, like you got to know how to deal with, like, exes and stuff like that because they're going to try to come back to your life this day. And there's going to be times when you, like, start reminiscing about some stuff. But your mentality, you just got to think no, back. Right. Like, no, oh, you can't you can't be doing it. Just doing all this, trying to get you back. Don't go back. They'll do that every time they lose you. Do not go for it. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> it really it's is a, a joke. joke. Like... Dudes will do anything to get you back and then lose you right again, do the same stuff because they not really, when they get you, they gonna feel like they can get you back anytime. Like, you know what I'm saying? So when they start doing all this show stuff, showing good, showing out for the people, did they show you that? The though? people like, is gonna be like, oh, you, you need to you take, take your back, back, but you don't know what's going on. You don't know the truth. Cause you know a dude is not gonna flat out be like, yeah, I did it wrong. Like dudes, like they make that, they try to make themselves look better and look good. They're not. And then I feel like it's it's kind of weird how when a boy do it, they get praised for like one of the girl back begging, and then when a the girl back, oh she down back, this that this that. I never understood that. And another thing is, I feel like with exes is, is you gotta understand if it's really if y'all really was supposed to be together. Number one, y'all would never split up. But things do happen. But that's why a lot of people be like, if it's real, then it'll come back. And I feel like you can use that to a certain extent. I feel like people because use that for everything. Yeah, if a and dude that's is not, cheating, that's not that's, and, you, and they come back, it's because you let them come back. Yeah. But if, if y'all just didn't allow them back, like, to, not me on good time. Yeah, and y'all like, just like, it was just mutual, and then y'all come back later, that's good. But like, it's cheating and and good terms is two different things like a mutual breakup and like cheating two different things like you cannot be like if if it's real come back with cheating no it wasn't it's real if they cheated from the, from the get go and nothing i feel like with boys in relationship for younger girls that affects their mental health a lot like, their like whole it future. really does because like for me when I used to be like my first like really like real real boyfriend when I first got out of high school like when stuff would happen and it, it, the situation wouldn't even be on me but like I it would be so calm day. yes like nice. collective like and everything like I would be I would be the one trying to talk about it he wouldn't even care and then one thing I can't say about my relationship is I could tell the difference from the first one to the second one because when I felt like my feelings was being put, played with I still do this to this day, which I'm trying to work on. But when I every time I feel like my feelings being my feelings is being played with, I blank. 
Like, I would yeah. sit here and, and record a voice message and scream <laughs> into the phone and just, like, go off and, like, type, just cussing everybody out, yeah. this, 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 that. But I feel like the things with us, I feel like we low, we low-key had the same, like, kind of personalities with relationships stuff. So, I feel like it also comes with your outspoken, like, you speak. Like, we'll speak on how we feel. Like, it's not like we'll just sit there and be like, hurting like no like we speak on how we feel so that comes with it too like but when you speak how you feel you gotta know how to say yeah. know what to do stuff like that and then like another thing like i remember this moment in my relationship i held like if that i was feeling in because the relationship before that i was so used to my feelings not being hurt and not being cared about so in my other relationship i just anytime i put some type of way about something i just didn't say nothing so when it came to that time where I actually said something, it just all came out, and I was like, just like, just go, just blanket, just going out, just going out. And that's why we said in the beginning, like, when you first going through something, sit down, talk about it with yourself, like, let it out, don't wait to the with last minute. Or with anybody, yeah, like, yeah. Okay, so for <laughs> life goals and for like college sports like that, all that baby, um, I do cheer. So when I go to college, I'm not really like too much like I really I do it in high school now because I'm close like with like people who play sports and stuff like that. So I'm supporting them. And you know, it just gives you something to do. Like you be at school all day. Like I don't know, it just gives me something to do. But like when I graduate, I don't plan on cheering, anything like that. But I do plan on going to college. Right now, I'm thinking about being an OBGYN or a labor and delivery nurse. Those are my top two right now. So I plan on, you know, doing that. Um, I plan on moving, not staying here. I feel like where I'm at now, it's just nothing for me. Like, my goals, like, one thing I always say to myself about the future is I'm always, I'm pushing myself to be in the position that I'm in now. Like, how my family is stable, stuff like that, the life that I'm living. I want to continue living this or better. I don't want to have to go down. Yeah, I mean, there might be a time. Yeah, you're going to have a There might be a time, off. but I want to work hard enough to where I don't have to be somewhere that I've never been. Because I like how I'm living. I just want to keep living like that. And I feel like that's why... I really want to push to do what I want to do so I can do that. And then I know when I get ready to leave this state, it's going to be a little bit harder because, I mean, I'm not really going to know nobody, stuff like that, but it's going to be a process. I guess we I play volleyball. Um, I don't plan on playing in college, but if I do get the opportunity, then I will. But it's not, I'm not just eager to, like, play volleyball in college, you know? But what I really want to be when I grow is a forensic scientist, and I want to go. Yes, I love criminal minds. I think I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big for the scientist and I do want to continue doing YouTube, but I feel like yeah, at, a certain, at a certain age it's going to be done. Like, I don't want to. <laughs> I feel like I'll do it in my 20s, like. but 30s is kind of pushing it. But it also depends on your success, you know, yeah. like how my life will go. But I just want to have a successful life and be happy. Like, I'm not really trying to stress about my future right now, but I just want to have a successful life and, you know, have a stable life, like how my life is stable now and how my parents raised me to be. Stuff like that. So. That's, really, that's really it, y'all. Like, we hope y'all got some good advice on this stuff. We hope y'all enjoyed today's video. video.
wanted you to stay too long just wanted you to show me up so won't you say my name say my name if you claim you want me it ain't no that you acting kind of shady you ain't been calling me baby uh, oh you can go stop playing games playing games really want to kiss your all but flex in front of your friends how that works better just the most, but we take a picture, get posted. How 